Happy Wednesday to all you tactical moms and dads out there and non-parents. Welcome back to the fourth episode of the four-part mini-series titled Damn It's Wednesday, where we showcase damn designs for our affordable EDC options, designed by Adrian D'Souza. On today's episode, we will take a look at the FINRAR. Let's check it out. Comes in the elegant black box with the silver embossed logo and website. All the ones from Amazon come in a sealed plastic bag. This one was opened on the unboxing video. High quality cleaning cloth. Smooth ball bearing flipper opening action. Overall length 7.95 inches. Blade length 3.5 inch. Blade thickness 4 millimeters. Blade steel D2 with a nice stone wash. Warren cliff. G10 handles. Handle length 4.6 inches. Amy Dexterous right or left pocket clip. Deep carry, of course. Tip up only. Full. Stainless steel liners with a liner lock. Again, let me showcase that very smooth ball bearing opening. Manual flipper tap. Overall weight, 4.6 ounces. Some everyday size comparisons. Your everyday Sharpie and your everyday big pen. Toy car. Ontario Rat 2 and the Ontario Rat 1 Spyderco Pair 3 and the Spyderco PM2 Benchmade Mini Bug Out and the Benchmade Full Size Bug Out and let's check it out in the pocket your everyday jeans. I wear a size large glove. Plenty of space in the pocket. Your everyday golf shorts. Your everyday athletic or basketball shorts. All right, let's put through some everyday parent tasks. One layer Amazon box. This actually had a sticker on the side, so even more layers still did very well. Two layer Home Depot. Very nice. Five fifty paracord. Nice push cuts. Different size zip ties. Not bad. Milk or water jug. Turn and leather belt. Uh, 
not bad for a very linear blade shape. All right, let's put it through the seatbelt test. The last but not least, the Finrar. Again, $49.50 off of Amazon. D2, G10 scales. Blade shape is a Warren Cliff. Not my most favorite blade shape. However, still performed very well. Even on the leather, just had to get the right leverage and clearance for the flipper tab, and it was perfect for push cuts. This handle actually sits very well. It's not as thin as the Hades and not as thick as the Cerberus or Invictus, yet still comfortable and yet still lands right where my thumb is for the jimping. Again, size large gloves. This thing fits like a dream. Again, my favorite flipper opening, ball bearing, so it's very smooth and crisp. Again, $49.50 for D2 and G10 with a smooth action and performance like that. Can't beat it. All right, guys, so now that we've gone through all four of Dam Design's affordable knife options, please take all my videos as data advice. Use them to form your own conclusions on which of these you would like to include into your everyday carry setup or all of them. It's really up to you. Thank you again, guys, for watching. We'll see you guys on our next episode.